someone special at least it is for me but I will be on and off of the camera so I'll give you updates every now and then so yeah you guys don't want to miss this one so it is in um, Lansing Michigan so and it's about hour drive I think I don't know um but yeah at 5 o'clock he's gonna come get me we're gonna head off maybe I get to drive I don't know I haven't got my phone license yet but yeah he needs to go see ready for it Tom Izzo Tom Izzo MSU football coach I'm so excited. I think my sister Megan is going. I know Cass is going. You've seen her in my past couple videos. My mom is going. I'm not too sure about my dad. I don't know. But this is so exciting. I, I just, I've always wanted to see him in person. And now this is my chance. And I'm just so grateful that I get to. Because... It's not going to happen every day, you know? So, stay tuned to the next clip. Bye, guys. Okay, you guys. So, my dad's going to be here in a couple minutes. So, that we can go to my mom's. We're looking. Get ready. How do you feel about this test? I'm pretty excited. You're eating cereal? Okay. <laughs> you ready to go? Say hi. Go talk to you. You ready to go? You excited? Mm -hmm. What are you going to go see? I forgot his name. Tom Izzo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say bye. To the next clip. Bye. Hi, guys. So, I just... It was a long night last night, and I definitely did have fun, but I just woke up, and I have to go to, go to school, but the rest of my hair is not done, so don't mind that. Um, it is what it is, but I did definitely have fun, and after this clip, I will probably put in some pictures, and say it does work, so... I definitely did have fun seeing Tom Santonio. Mark Santonio, I mean, yeah. I'm not freaking right today, you guys. I'm so tired. I am all I'm tired. I say I haven't put on makeup. Uh, it's six. 40 in the morning. Okay, but anyways, I've got to go. But I will put in some pictures below. Oh, not below. Oh my god. After this clip, I probably will if it works. Thumbs up.
maybe my mom said it might be happening again in a couple months. I did get my brawl um, autograph. This is also a picture with Charlotte, so you guys, if it works. Yeah. But there you go, guys. Hi. Play this hard. Everybody in this conference comes, comes uh, with plans, uh, you know, as evidenced by everything that's gone on this year uh, throughout the country. Iowa Tough, it was 14 to 7 game. Uh, Minnesota had to kick a field goal uh, with six seconds to go to, to beat them um, as well at Minnesota. So, um, you know, they're a football team that's uh, that's early in, in Coach Ash's career, you know, he's his first year, first year as a head coach there. So they're a football team that's um, that's getting used to him and him to, him to them a little bit. So uh, they're on their third quarter quarterback, uh, Gianni uh, Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni Rochino from uh, De La Salle High School in uh, the Detroit area. Yes, and he's a, he's a good quarterback, number 17, and uh, he's a guy that's uh, uh, from De La Salle that we looked at right uh, in January of his senior year. So uh, he's accomplished some different things as he's moved forward. So uh, number three, number 88 are their go-to guys. And they'll have a plan. Chris Ash, the former defensive coordinator at Ohio State, they do a lot of things similar to the Buckeyes on both sides of the ball, do they not? Uh, yes, they do. They hired their coordinator from, um, you know, I guess the Tom Herman tree, uh, you know, uh, who had been the coordinator of Ohio State. So a lot of similarities. And then uh, obviously Chris Ash was the defense coordinator of Ohio State. So there's some similar things there. Really some similar things in terms of what we do defensively as well. 